Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome to a game called Burning Love. It is a Yandere simulator dating visual novel, and that's all you need to know. I mean, what's more perfect than that? I'm guessing we're going to be dating some students from Academy High. Let's just start it and see what it's all about. What's your name? Uh, let's go with Gurindu! Phew! Almost five o'clock. At least this is the last room I have to check. Huh? What's this? That's a huge bitch! A knife? What's a knife doing in here? And what is it doing on the floor? Pick it up, tell a teacher. Man, we ain't gonna be no snitch. Pick that up. I should probably take it and bring it to a teacher or something. Hmm, I mean, it looks so fancy. Isn't this supposed to be in the creepy skull? That's kind of a shame. It looks really cool. Huh? There's blood on the other side of it. What the? It even looks fresh. Get a teacher, now. Stick it in the skull. Yes. <laughs> I mean, no one will see the blood if it's in the skull, right? There. Uh-huh. Ah! Ugh. Where am I? You're in the land of dickless demons. Gah! Who? What? Huh? Monsters? A mortal. Here. How curious. Huh? Whoa. Who is he? Why is his head on fire? And why do I feel like seriously making out with him? What the? Hold the phone! Ain't nobody making out with this flamehead! Why have you come here, I wonder? Do you have a fascination with the occult? Or have you come here seeking power? Both. I'm interested in you. I seek power. I'm, uh, lost? You know, I love games where you can choose what you want to do, what you want to say, and this is really interesting to me so far because I'm definitely not interested in him. I'm not lost. I want POWER! <laughs> you are not worthy. Return when you have proven that you can wield my power. <sighs> okay. Alright, you want to talk like that? You want to talk a big game? Alright. Fine. Oh, it ended. Wow, I thought I had to do like some certain task or something like sacrifice a student. Okay, we're gonna try that again, and this time I'm gonna try to tell a teacher. So now we're at the part with the sword, let's tell a teacher. No way I'm touching that! I gotta go tell a teacher! <laughs> right where I left it. I'll take that. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, okay, Ayane-chan took the sword. And uh, she just laughed and it's game over. Okay, so we're not going to tell a teacher, but this time, let's say we're interested in the flamehead guy instead of seeking power. I'm interested in you. Oh, are you? What a pity. I am not interested in you at all. Humans are mundane, boring creatures. Tell me, why should I consider you to be worthy of my time? You don't understand. I'm interested in you. I guess I'm not worthy after all. Hell no, we're not choosing that. We are gonna let him know and put emphasis on interested in you. I... What? What do you mean? Checkmate. You're hot. You're sexy. I wanna date you. You're so sexy, flamehead. Wh what? What's your tongue, mortal? Do you have any idea who you are speaking to? Some sort of fiend demon? Not really. Demon. What? That is not my name! You are unworthy to hear my true name! But you will address me as the flame demon! Do I have fiends in my hands? Do I have a fiend for a head? No! I have flames! I am the flame demon! Get it right! Oh, chill, chill, chill. I think this dude needs a Snickers or something. He needs to calm down. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <sighs> what a vexing human. <sighs> You've caused me to lose my composure. Let me make it up to you with a date. And why exactly would I desire to do such a thing? Because you'll have a great time. I have no reason to believe your words. I'll make a deal with you. If you go on a date with me, and you don't have any fun, I'll give you my soul. Foolish human. You do not grasp the consequences of your proposal. Do you truly wish you wager your eternal soul? Well, joke's on you. I have no soul. 
Yes, yep, yeah. Okay, so basically this is preference. I'm more of a yes guy. I can't get over this feeling inside. I need to date this demon. Please, oh please say yes. Is this human serious? I'm super serious. So be it, foolish mortal. I agree to your terms. There is no backing out of this bargain now. I will go on a <clears throat> date with you. And if I do not enjoy myself, I will consume your soul. Deal! Yes, he said yes! This is gonna be so much fun! So, um, where are we going? Uh, is there a Denny's or a McDonald's or something around here? Park, diner, beach. Why would I take Flamehead to the beach? Diner? Let's go to the park. Actually, let's go to a diner. I'm kind of hungry. Very well. We will now commence our date. Do not disappoint me, human. All right. Uh, this location is pleasant. It's a nice place. Perfect for a date. <laughs> Do not think you have won, human. I am not yet enjoying myself. Proceed with your attempts to woo me. Do your worst. All right, flame demon, you asked for it. Why is your head on fire? Where do demons come from? Who were you before you were a demon? I'm actually really curious about that. The year I first drew breath was 1431. Goddamn. I was born into a wealthy family. I enjoyed a life of privilege and luxury. This dude's hella old. Local peasants, unsatisfied with their lot in life, grew envious of my family's wealth. Eventually, their envy turned to rage. One day, a mob of peasants marched into my family's manor, intent on stealing our valuables. My mother and father attempted to resist. But they were no match for dozens of armed peasants. God, those damn peasants, man. Those damn peasants. The peasants beat my parents savagely. When my mother and father were at the brink of death, the peasants burned them alive. Afterwards, the peasants raided the manor, taking everything of value. When they were finished, they burned the manor to the ground. This date went from cool to depressing real quick. I hid during the peasant's assault, and so I escaped without injury. However, I witnessed my parents beaten and burned alive. I'm so sorry. That sucks. Yeah, that's what you want to say on the first date. That sucks. I'm so sorry. For what? For what you had to go through. It's so sad. <laughs> well... I was able to obtain my revenge in the end. Of course. My desire to take vengeance on the peasants was so strong that I performed a demonic ritual to commune with a demon. The demon took an interest in me. We struck a deal, and I performed a sacrifice. The demon granted me the power to control fire. I was reborn into the form that you see before you. I took my vengeance. The peasants experienced everything that they subjected my parents to. And more. And more? I had become a being that was no longer welcome in the human world. And so once my vengeance was complete, I left the human world for the demon realm. Why is your head on fire? Where do demons come from? It's like some little kid. Mom, where do demons come from? Let's just say, why is your head on fire, you sexy bastard? When a human becomes a demon, they are reborn into a more appropriate form. This form was the most appropriate one for me, considering the circumstances of my ascension to demonhood. It's a nice look on you. That's interesting. Let's make him feel good about himself. Let's say, that flame head? Oh, that looks good on you. B what? That's a ridiculous statement! No, 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 totally legit. Super sexy on you. Fabulous. It's true, though. How bothersome. I got him a little flustered. Good. Let's keep at it. Where do demons come from? You truly are an ignorant human. To think that you made it this far without knowing such a thing. At least I can learn from a cool demon like you. Don't say anything. 
Uh, sometimes I feel like not saying anything is the best option, but you know what? Let's stroke that ego. <laughs> I mean, yes, you are given a great privilege to learn from a demon like me. Heh <laughs> playing up on his pride. Great strategy, go me! A demon is a human that has discarded their humanity in exchange for great power. A very specific set of circumstances are required in order for a human to become a demon. First, a human must somehow commune with a demon. The human must express their desire to forsake humanity and embrace demonhood. If the demon decides that the human is worthy, the demon will offer a deal. This dude sure loves talking about demons. The human must perform a great sacrifice. After the sacrifice has been performed, the demon will grant the human the power that they desire. It is extremely uncommon for a demon to judge a human to be worthy of demonhood. What do you do all day in the demon realm? How many other demons are in the demon realm? Why did I only see three demons when I entered the demon realm? These are actually really good questions because when I usually play Yandere Simulator, I want to know why there are only three. There were actually dozens of other demons present, but only three chose to make themselves visible to you. What do you do all day in the demon realm? There are very few activities available within the demon realm. I bet. From the demon realm, one can gaze upon any person or location in the human world. It is quite amusing. It is much like your human invention, the television. Have you ever taken an interest to a human? Hmm, maybe he might say me. Maybe he might say, yes, I do like you. Gorino! Why would I do that? I don't know. I mean, it would be more fun than just watching them, don't you think? I've never been interested in humans like that. I am only interested in their souls. Their souls? A demon's power and lifespan are determined by the number of human souls that demon has consumed. When my power wanes, I strike a bargain with a human in order to acquire their soul, so that I may continue living. Some demons prefer to make their lives more interesting by gambling their souls amongst one another. Gambling with a foolish or gullible demon is an excellent way to quickly acquire a few human souls. Some demons are agreeable, and fraternizing with them can be enjoyable. However, most demons do not make good company. I would assume so. How many other demons are in the demon realm? I never bothered to count the exact number, but I know that there are over 100 of us. God damn! Are any as amazing as you? Damn, Gurinu loves stroking that ego. W where is this coming from? My heart. I'm just curious. You're so interesting and stuff. I doubt any other demon is like you. Haha, <sighs> <laughs> he is so adorable when he's flustered. Who are the other two demons that I saw with you? What are the backstories of the other two demons I saw? So, are you enjoying yourself yet? Yeah, enough demon talk. Let's see if he's enjoying himself. I... well... That's a yes. Speaking to a human in this manner. Being asked questions. Providing answers. Talking about myself, I... It's not... disagreeable. Yo, is this flame blushing? A flame is blushing! Now I have seen it all. But make no mistake, you are not wooing me. I am not wooed. You will have to woo harder than that. Well, I gotta woo harder than that, I gotta go woo! Oh, I think that I've done a good amount of wooing. Now, to finish it off. I'd like to mention that you look... Hot. I will not be moved by such remarks. If you are attempting to make me swoon, you are failing miserably, I... Oh. It is a jest. You are referencing the fact that I have a flame for a face. Ah, now you get my humor. Your jests are of poor quality, human. I remain thoroughly unwound. You make my heart burn for you. You must be burning up at that. Oh god, these puns. Um, do you make my heart burn for you? Yeah. Your flame puns do not affect me! I'm being serious! I've never felt this way about anyone before! You're special to me! I want to be with you, flame demon. My feelings for you are so great, they burn harder than any flame you can conjure! If you think that I'm not serious, you can take my soul right now, and I won't try and stop you. I... 
Yes? I... I enjoyed myself, human. This date was very interesting. Ooh, got the flame blushing again, let's go. I don't know how you've done it, human. But somehow, within the span of a single day, you've made me feel fond of you. Because I'm a pimp. Have I been seduced? Bewitched? Dare I say it? Wooed? Oh yeah, you've definitely been wooed, baby. I want to belong to you. And I want you to belong to me. I want you to stay by my side for all eternity. I want to be held in your embrace until the end of time. Is this guy about to get down on one knee and give me a flame ring or something? Jeez, he's like super in love with me. I thought that I no longer had a heart to give. But my heart is now yours. Congratulations, human. You've conquered a demon. Yeah. Well, what are we going to do now, lover? I'm gonna take a knife wound and your damn life wound. Kill everyone at my school with fire. <laughs> Conquer the demon realm? Make out. Super hard. <laughs> oh my god, they're all good choices. I actually like the first one. We'll kill them with fire, but let's just make out. Let's just make out, baby. Super hard. I like the way you think. Oh yeah, make out with me, baby. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> that was one of the routes of Burning Love, the Yandere Simulator dating visual novel. If you guys want to see the other routes, the other endings, please let me know in the comments below that you want more. But if you guys enjoyed this video, though, please give it a like. And tell a friend today that Jake from the Cub Scouts is dead, too!